Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this wig sent to me from GeniusWigs.com. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes, and direct links down below in the description box. The wig that I received is a 22 inch, 200% density, straight, 13 by 6 and a half lace front wig. This wig was created using crystal lace. The SKU number is GWL01. The hairlines from Genius Wigs are pre-bleached, pre-plucked, and the knots are single hand tied, which makes their wigs perfect for a skin melted look. As you can see, the hairline is completely flawless on its own straight out of the package, so there is no extra work needed on your end. The wig comes with four combs, an adjustable strap, and a removable elastic band. Okay, so let's do the lace comparison test. I'm going to compare crystal lace with transparent lace. Let's compare the differences. Grabbing Got To Be Free spray, I'm going to spray it on the back of my hand and blow dry for a few seconds. Applying that sample piece of transparent lace, I'm going to apply it into the tacky gel and then spray it one more time and blow dry it. Following the same steps, I'm doing the same thing for crystal lace. The transparent lace sample is near my thumb and the crystal lace sample is near my pinky or the outside of my hand. Crystal lace seems to be the thinnest lace, which is perfect for skin melts. But is this lace long lasting? How durable is this lace? Let's test it out. Okay, today's challenge is to compare the durability of crystal lace versus HD lace. Crystal lace is more durable than HD lace, crystal lace is also higher end, so you can accidentally puncture a hole in it and it won't expand and the hole won't grow over time as with HD lace, it's less durable and if you do puncture a hole in it, it will continue to spread and the hole will get larger and larger over time. So we're going to just make a slight hole in both of them and just see the durability of both. With these two being on my mannequin head, you can definitely see a huge difference with the um, invisibility of crystal lace versus HD lace. Let's see how easy it is to puncture a hole in it and if the hole will... Okay, so it is easy to stretch the hole out with HD lace. Let's compare crystal lace. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to puncture the lace and try to pull it. Wow, this is actually resisting me pull. Like it's actually resistant to me pulling. It's very strong. It's very resistant to me pulling it. I'm very impressed by that. This one wasn't as resistant and the hole did puncture multiple holes at once as this one has a very tiny seamless hole. So I did puncture two holes in the HD lace just to see if I was exaggerating or not. I'm gonna do the same thing to crystal lace. I'm gonna puncture another hole over here and see if it's easy to stretch. Wow, it is very durable. Like the hole is not expanding. I'm gonna zoom in cause this is crazy. You see the hole? The hole on the HD lace. You see how big the hole is on the HD lace? And how small the holes are on the crystal lace? Crystal Lace seems to be the clear winner here. Okay, so let's move on to styling this wig. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is tint the lace. Tinting the lace is always optional. Some people choose to do the bald cap method. 
grabbing two different colors of lace tint. One is the color of my foundation, which I'll be spraying along the outer portion of the lace frontal. And the second color is the color of my scalp, which I'll be spraying on the inner portion of the lace frontal. I'm doing two layers of each color of lace tint and then blow drying in between each layer. Grabbing a hair wax stick from Cara Care, I'm going to basically define where I want my parting space to go. So I basically did a part down the center of the frontal and then I sectioned off two pieces in the front. Grabbing my pressing comb, I'm just going to define those parts a little bit more. So for today's hairstyle, I am going to section off the left and right sides of the part into two cornrows, and then that's going to go up into a bun. So I'm just going to prep the hair for styling by using BioSilk's Silk Infusion Hair Serum. And after I am done with that, I'm going to press through it with my pressing comb, of course. Then I'm just going to section off where I want my baby hairs to be because the rest of the hair will be cornrowed. And this is how the hair should look. Next, I'm doing two cornrows going straight backwards. All right, so now that I'm finished with those two cornrows, I'm just gonna section it off using a rubber band. Focusing on the bottom half of the wig, I'm grabbing a curling iron and I'm just gonna do some loose curls going away from my face. So now that I'm finished curling the hair, I'm just gonna spray a light hold hairspray on it. All right, so now it's time to cut away that extra lace. Grabbing those two pieces in the front, I'm just gonna pin them out of the way so that I have a very clear view of the frontal. Grabbing a normal pair of scissors, I'm just gonna cut off where the ear is. Then in grabbing a pair of zigzag scissors, I'm just gonna follow that natural hairline in the front and cut off the extra lace. Now I'm gonna prep my skin for install. Grabbing alcohol, I'm just gonna clean off my forehead. Then I'm gonna grab scalp protector from Walker Tape and apply that to my scalp. The adhesive of choice today is Even New York's Wonder Lace Bond. Grabbing the wig, turning it upside down so that I have a clear view of the under portion of the lace. I'm gonna spray a very thin layer of that to the hairline of the wig. I'm gonna blow dry for about 10 seconds until that adhesive is tacky. And then I'm gonna grab the wig, place it on my head, make sure that all of the combs and the part is in its proper placement. And then I'm gonna grab my head scarf, place it on my head for about 20 minutes to allow that lace and adhesive to set. <music> 20 minutes later, it's now time to reveal this lace melt. I did do some baby hairs off camera to save time. Crystal lace is pretty flawless and it's easy to melt as you can see. So now it is time to finish styling this hair. Grabbing the bun, I'm just gonna use the back end of my comb or brush and I'm just gonna tease that hair a little bit. Then I'm gonna redo the bun. By teasing the hair or back combing, that is gonna help our bun appear fuller and thicker. So lastly, I'm gonna grab my curling iron and just curl the front bangs.
This step is always optional, but I did decide to add some butterfly hair clips to this look. Do you like this hairstyle with or without the butterfly accessories? Let's chat down below in the comment section. And here is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. I'll have all of the information, the promo codes, and direct links to the wig worn in this video down below in the description box. So don't forget to check down below for more information. If this is your first time on my channel, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up, comment down below, of course, and subscribe before you leave. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Ay, ay, ay.